Hello YouTube. Um, so this is um, two microwave transformers. They're wired. Um, low voltage is wired in series, and the high voltage is not hooked up to anything. See, so they're just dangling about. And our power supply is. Let's see. Um, okay, it's. 5.9 volts at 400 milliamps. Okay. Okay. So these guys, the low voltage is uh, wired up in series, and it goes to this read switch, and uh, basically the read switch is going to make and break the connection uh, in the circuit. And across the read switch, we connect these two light bulbs. These light bulbs, uh, one of the light bulbs is, um, let's see, 13 watts, and this light bulb is 5 watts, and the light bulbs are wired up in, in series. So here's basically uh, what happens. When you send the voltage through the transformers, um, magnetism is induced in the iron. When you break the connection, that magnetism is converted into volts and amps. And it actually it's it's a it's a back EMF. Uh, I believe uh, this is uh, part of the secret to at least Kalman's work, what he did, and I'll sh I'll I'll show you more with um, pictures about that later at the end of the video. So let's see this this here is just a rotor and it makes and breaks the connection. Let's see okay. The whole point of the rotor is just to make and break the connection. You don't need to have a rotor, as long as long as you have some kind of me mechanical way to break a connection, you're going to see this effect. See the the five watt uh, light bulb is very bright. The other one is just flickering once in a while. Anyway, um, uh, if you use a transistor, transistor will not work because you first of all you might actually burn it out, and because um, you you have a lot of volts and amps going through. Uh, one way is to have a mechanical oscillating switch, which Laser Saber had uh, come up with a really brilliant one, using a thick piece of graphite and a copper um, wire. This here is my attempt to, to make it with a regular lead pencil, lead uh, graphite, and um, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to switch it out, switch out the read switch for this. Okay, so I switched out the read switch for this thing, and I'm just going to make and break the connection manually. Yeah. And you can see the spark. Anyway, I'm going to show you pictures of Edley Scalman at work, and um, what determines how much uh, voltage you, you'll, you'll be getting is uh, it depends on uh, how much iron you're using and how much copper you're using because all the induced magnetism uh, uh, is going to be reverted into volts and amps so really um, in theory you should you should be able to make over unity type device with this and uh, I'll actually show you a few schematics for over, over unity devices in this video anyway I wanted to add a few more things uh, in this video when you when you're hooking up these uh, transformers you, you want to make sure your positive goes into the transformer and then um, you know your one transformer is connected to the, to the other and then um, out goes to your uh, oscillating switch whatever you choose that to be uh, in this case it's a read switch and then um, your out goes, goes back to the source so um, here we're, uh, we have a voltmeter and I'm gonna show you some energy and anomalies I have the me the meter across the um, the read switch, and, and the load is this five watt 
light bulb. So let's see. see it's lit. Again, spikes. I have it set on AC. It's hard to be consistent because I'm manually spinning this thing. Okay. But if you switch to DC, see it's just gonna show you six volts your input. But it's easily lighting this this five watt uh, light bulb. Anyway, very interesting uh, technology, and I'll, I'll show you um, at least common at work, and I'll point out some things. Okay, uh, here I found uh, a photo of at least Kalman at work. Notice um, this giant mass of metal right over here. And this giant ha chunk of metal ser serves apparent, no apparent purpose except for um, storing magnetism. So down below, um, most likely, he had a, a rod with, um, with a copper coil around it and uh, when he spun his wheel um, magnetism would be induced in the metal and uh, as a result uh, magnetism would be uh, um, stored in the giant hunk of iron that he has above and um, he would have this coil connected to an oscillating switch that would um, make and break the connection and release uh, the stored magnetism as electricity. And if you read Edley Skelman's um, magnetic current, he actually talks about, refers to magnetism and electricity as being interchangeable. He, he was, uh, he talks about how uh, inside the wires there's little um, magnets. Well, while I don't necessarily agree with what he said, um, it does, it does make sense. For, for his setup. 